Hey folks, a little deeper look at the top story in Observer World since earlier this year when the government was forced to update the world magnetic model due to changes in the field exceeding their expectations. An international collaboration in the world's number one geophysical journal directly counters the points made in another recent paper in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. That paper had suggested that magnetic events on Earth were not linked to extinction events, and this paper now expressly indicates that the magnetic events at 115,000 years ago, 41,000 years ago, and at the Younger Dryas were in fact linked with the extinction scene at that time. This paper is a trumping card for a few reasons. First, and of lesser importance, is that we can throw anything we want at Harvard and the American Astronomical Society, including other peer-reviewed papers and proper science, and it just doesn't matter in some ways, because it's us. Not like when actual tenured professors and leaders of the field say it. But they didn't just say it anywhere. The journal Reviews of Geophysics is by far the number one geophysics journal in the world. Its papers are cited four times more than their closest competitor, and they publish very, very selectively on topics of the utmost importance. When a paper comes out there, it is critical and it is relatively definitive. Lastly, and of the utmost importance, the original paper studied only UV radiation changes to Earth's surface in a magnetic event a point we found academically offensive due to the importance of cosmic rays, the climate changes that would result, and much, much more. But this new paper went right for the throat. In academia, they sometimes do not directly call out another paper or an author, but they make it so blatantly obvious what is being addressed that everyone knows it. This paper also ignores everything except UV, allowing the original work to play devil's advocate against it, call the shots, and still, against that challenge, it showed the extinction potential of a magnetic change on Earth. And not just the full magnetic reversals, but the major excursions as well. Of course, we are in one at the moment. We've been in it for more than a hundred years, and the acceleration recently brought the shift to within decades of similar conditions to those described in the paper. I would not expect to see this story all put together on CNN or MSNBC, but the writing is on the wall. Or... In the journal, I suppose. The one recent paper from Dr. Lingham at Harvard never addressed any of the actual time correlations of these magnetic events and extinctions. They just selected a narrow range of change and then applied that conclusion broadly over the entire process. We believe we showed that the selectivity excluded critical aspects of the equation, but this new paper has shown that even that selective analysis fails the repeatability test. Combine those, the history of the literature and the fact that whether or not we know why it is so bad, the fact of the matter is that the magnetic events and extinctions do come together in history. It's simple calculus, little one. Game over. I mean that both ways. Whenever you are watching this, I'll see you in the morning for the daily update. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.